Time's up. How to play. The object of the game is to be the team with the most points after three rounds. There are a few different ways to play, but I'll explain the most basic way. Give three pieces of paper to each player and have them write a different noun, verb, adjective, or phrase on each piece. These will be the answers for everyone to guess. Gather everyone's papers together and mix them into a bowl. Divide the players into two teams and have them each on opposite sides of the room. The game consists of three rounds, each using the same pieces of paper. During each round, players from each team take turns trying to get their teammates to guess what is written on the paper. A player has one minute to get their team to guess as many papers as they can. Drawing papers one at a time from the bowl, they silently read the word and try to get their team to guess the word. They cannot use any of the words written on the paper and they are not allowed to pass. Each time someone on your team correctly guesses, drop the paper to the ground and grab a new one from the bowl. After one minute is through, count up the number of correctly guessed papers on the ground and set them aside, not back in the bowl. That team receives one point per paper which was marked on a score pad. The next team takes their turn, alternating players so everyone has an equal time being the clue giver. This continues until all the papers are guessed. During the first round, players can use as many words as they want to describe what's written. The only limit is, is they cannot use any of the words included on the paper. Players are welcome to use sounds or even charades if needed. After all the answers have been guessed, pause the time, gather all the paper, and put it back into the bowl. During the second round, play continues with the player who finished the last round resuming the time remaining. After that, the next players have one minute just like before. Unlike the first round, in the second round, players are only allowed to use one word to describe what's written, so choose your word carefully. After all the answers have been guessed, pause the time, gather all the papers, and mix them back into the bowl. The final round continues like the second round, only this time players are only allowed to act out what is written and are not allowed to use any words or sounds. If a player accidentally uses a word or sound, the point doesn't count. The player mixes the paper back into the bowl, ends their turn, and the other team takes their turn. After all the papers have been guessed, score points for that turn. Tally up the total score of each team, the team with the most points wins.